Hi, it's Joa from Special Heart Studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can download and install a font on your iPhone or iOS device using the Any Font app. In order to download and use fonts on an iPhone or iPad, you do have to have some sort of font management app downloaded from the App Store. I personally use Any Font. I haven't had any problems with it and find it fairly simple, but there are others out there that, that you could, could research. So I posted a free font, Bale Arena, not to be confused with Ballerina, uh, in my Facebook group today, and that's how this question came out came about. So we will just click that link. This is one of Creative Fabrica's, which is one of my favorite websites, um, free daily gifts. So this is one that has to be downloaded that same day that it's offered for free. Otherwise, it's still for sale. They they sell these. Um, all the time too, but as you can see here, it's saying it's gone, gone in five hours. So I'm going to click the free download button. Um, it's given me this no internet connection. This happens fairly frequently when you try to leave Facebook uh, for an external website that you're downloading either SVGs or, or fonts, whatnot. It's easy to get around. Simply click the three little dots in the top right hand corner and then choose open in browser. So here I am back on the Creative Fabrica. You do have to create a free account with them. So you have to log in to be able to download their freebies. So click free download. My phone then asks me, are you sure you wanna download this zip file? And I do, so I'm going to click download. And then on an iOS device, you can see in the top right up here, the circle with the down arrow. That's indicating it's download. I click on that and it will take me to my download folder automatically. Now, if you forget and don't know where your download folder is, I will show you. Apparently I had lots of things open. Um, how you can find it, you, it will be in the files. So click files and then you should have a downloads button um, on your phone, downloads. The files will download in zip format. So here you'll see I had a couple straggler downloads that were old in there, but Bale Arena is the file that we just downloaded. To unzip, on iOS device, all you have to do is simply tap the, the icon one time. So I tapped it and now I have the, op the ballerina folder that I can open. So I will open that folder. Inside the folder, this font specifically came with OTF and TTF formats. OTF is a newer file format than TTF. That's the file format that if you have software that allows you to use the glyphs built in, it will allow you to do that. So if if you ever have a choice between the two, always choose the OTF. So I'm going to click on that um, icon, and then it, it just says this, Bale Arena Postscript Open Top Font. So I'm going to tap the icon in the bottom left, the square with the arrow, and choose that I'm going to open it in that Any Font app that I mentioned. So now you'll see I have Bale Arena here and it's asking me if I want to install it. So I clicked Bale Arena and I do want to install it so I'm going to tap the button. The website, iOS made some changes and they really, really want to make sure that you truly want to um, install these fonts on your, on your phone. So it asks you multiple times and you just have to keep clicking through them. So it's saying that I want, do I want to allow it to con configure a profile, which is how you have to go about um, installing a font. So I'm going to click that I will allow that. And then it's telling me that I have to go into my profile in settings to install that profile. So click close, and then you need to find your settings, which of course looks like that little gear icon. I have mine on my front page. So you'll see here right under your settings, your name, you'll have all that there. It, there's profile downloaded. So I'm going to tap on that. It automatically came up. It's install the profile. It's that 
Ballerina OTF. I'm, you have the choice to remove that downloaded profile, but of course I want to install it. So I'm going to tap install. It will make you enter your passcode if you have one set on your phone. Um, it's warning me again, it's going to install this font, which is perfectly fine what I want it to do. Click next, and then I will click install. And one more time, install. And now it's saying that the profile's installed I'm done. So if I go back, scroll back to my AnyFont app, you'll see I have the check mark there and the font is installed. So I can, from here, open up Cricut Design Space, start a new project, and I will check and make sure that, that it's truly installed. Sometimes I've had to log out of Design Space and log back in. So um, remember on an iOS device, it will filter Cricut system or all. So this will be all we wanna check here. And I'm going to search for Bale Arena, not Ballerina. <laughs> um, and there it is. So that is how you go about installing a font outside of Cricut on an iOS device. Let me know if you have any questions. I will add a written step-by-step -step procedure to my website, but you're free to leave comments or questions on here in my YouTube channel or in the blog post. Thanks everyone.